Hello guys, welcome back to Classic Clarks, the home of culturing classic femininity. Today I am going to be showing you how I make my einkorn sourdough pancakes. These pancakes are the perfect combination of soft, fluffy and light and they will leave you wanting more. I hope your family will enjoy them as much as we do. As usual, you can visit the description box below to find the full recipe link from my website www.classicclarks.com For this recipe, you will need a fed einkorn sourdough starter. This can be either an established starter or discard. This starter was fed last night and I am baking the recipe for breakfast the next morning. As you can see, it's nice and bubbly, which means it's perfect for use in this recipe and this will help get the light, fluffy texture we're looking for. The ingredients you will need include honey, an egg, some salt, some melted coconut oil and bicarbonate of soda, as well as your starter. Here I'm using a ladle to spoon out my sourdough starter from its container and I'm taking out one cup worth of my starter. I use the ladle to prevent too much mess, but if your container is big enough, you can also use the cup itself to spoon out the amount. Then add this to your mixing bowl. Sourdough starter is fairly viscous, so you might want to take a silicone spatula to help you get out any last remaining starter. For those living in the UK who may not use cup measurements, my cup came to around 263 grams of starter. Crack your egg into the mixing bowl. and add your two tablespoons of melted coconut oil. You can also use melted ghee for this recipe if you don't like the taste of coconut oil and you can find the information for this on my blog post. Add in your tablespoon of honey. The salt. and then whisk your ingredients until fully combined. The mixture should be lovely and smooth. The final ingredient to be added is the bicarbonate of soda. Mix this in until evenly distributed. After a little while you should start to see the mixture bubbling up. Here you can see the lovely bubbles that the bicarbonate of soda creates. Turn on your hob. If using cast iron, make sure you set it to a low temperature as cast iron conducts heat very well. Add a small amount of coconut oil or ghee to the pan and wait for it to melt. Once melted, evenly distribute with your spatula. I use my hand to check the temperature of the pan. Once it will produce a sizzle, I then add the batter. If any of the mixture goes awry, you can use the spatula to pull the mixture back into the centre of the pancake. Once you see the pancake start to brown on the edges, you can check underneath and if it's ready you can flip it over. Again, if you get any pancake mixture outside the circle, that's fine, you can just pull it back in with your spatula. Wait 30 seconds for the other side to cook and then have a look at the underside of the pancake. If it looks done, then you can pull it off the pan and pop it onto a side plate you have ready. Here's the golden brown colour that you're looking for. Redistribute 
distribute the oil in the pan so it's evenly spread and then you're ready to cook your next pancake. So guys, this is how your einkorn pancakes should look by the end. Don't they look wonderful? Honestly, they taste so, so good. This recipe makes about eight medium-sized pancakes. If you want some ideas on how to serve these, these einkorn pancakes go fantastically with a fruit compote. I have a recipe for a strawberry and cherry fruit compote made in the instant pot that I have a video for on my channel and I also have a blog post for. Feel free to go and check that out if you're interested in a topping idea. You can also add raw cream onto the top of this to make it extra decadent. In terms of storing these, I usually store them in the freezer, in a big freezer bag and I usually put them in in groups of two because that's a serving size in our family and I lay them flat in the bag to freeze. When you want to eat these pancakes you can easily cook them up again in the microwave. As you can see our freezer is pretty full so storing them like this helps to save a lot of space. They're one of my favourite breakfasts. It's not an everyday breakfast for us here in our house, but um, it's certainly a great treat, a great Sunday breakfast. If you've got kids, they will absolutely love this. Um, so go ahead, give it a try, a bit of a healthier version of your standard pack. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. I hope to see you next time. But for now, stay classic. So I usually use this on my sourdough einkorn pancakes. Um, so it's healthier because the einkorn and also the sourdough, both of those things combined make this a little bit less happy days. <laughs> you can pop those in um, you do have to be a bit careful because the fruit needs to take enough things out we don't actually even say those things